using formulas to find the value is all about substituting the value that they gave you for the correct variable and using the order of operations. So if you look at this problem, Ed spoke to his cousin in Australia who told him it was 28 degrees Celsius that day. So that means the C value we're going to use is 28. Ed wasn't sure if that was hot or cold, so he converted the temperature to degrees Fahrenheit. What is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit? So the F represents, and they tell us that here, F is the number of degrees in Fahrenheit. That's what we don't know. And C is the number of degrees in Celsius. And we do know that it's 28 degrees Celsius where his cousin is at. And then plus 32. So this is how we would set up the problem. And we need to use order of operations. So we have multiplication here and we have addition. And we do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication and division from left to right, and finally addition and subtraction from left to right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply 9 over 5 times 28 over 1. 9 times 28. So I'm going to do 9 times 8 is 72, carry the 7. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 7 is 25. So that's my numerator. 9 times 28 is 252. 5 times 1 is 5. So I'm going to divide 252 divided by 5 to see what that value is. 252 divided by 5. 5 goes into 25 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Subtract. I get 0. Bring down my 2. 5 does not go into 2, so I'm going to put a 0. And then I'm going to add a decimal and bring down the next 0. 5 goes into 20 4 times. 5 times 4 is 20. So now I have a remainder of 0. So now I know that 252 divided by 5 is equal to 50.4. And then I can add 32 now. That's the same thing as 32.0. 50.4 plus 32.0 is 82.4. And in the problem, it says to round your answer to the nearest whole number. And since 0.4 is less than 0.5, my final answer to the nearest whole number would be 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So when it is 28 degrees Celsius, it is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Another example, we have a cardboard box in the shape of a cube. What is the surface area? Well, they give us a formula for surface area. SA is the surface area, they tell us that. S is the length of each side, and they give us the length of the side is three feet. So we know that S is equal to 3, and we want to find the surface area. So 6 times 3 squared. So all of this lesson is about is substituting the values they're giving you and making sure you understand the order of operations. So order of operations says do parentheses first. There aren't any parentheses and then do exponents. We do have exponents. The three is being raised to the second power. Three squared is nine. Then bring down what's left is multiplication, and that's what comes next. Six times nine is 54. So the surface area is 54 feet squared when we have a side length of three. One more example. And the last example here, we have Sam walked four kilometers in 50 minutes. 
at what rate did Sam walk? So R is the rate, D is the distance, and T is the time. So the rate is what we do not know. 50 minutes is a time. Four kilometers is a distance. So we can use the formula that they gave us. R is equal to distance divided by time. And we can substitute four for the distance, 50 for the time. So R is equal to four divided by 50. And when we divide four by 50, the top number goes inside the house, four divided by 50. It's going to be a decimal value. 50 doesn't go into four, add a zero. 50 doesn't go into 40, add another zero. 50 goes into 400 eight times. 50 times eight is 400, and that is the rate at which he walks. So he walks 0 0.08 kilometers per minute, or eight hundredths of a kilometer per minute.